In this video, we will show you how to use Dollars Mocap without inheriting from Dollars M Mocap Actor, how the spawned actor can obtain the Dollars receiver in the scene, and how to switch between motion capture and animation. We will use the third person template of Unreal Engine as an example. First, we will copy the Dollars plugin and the UE4 mannequin's control rig into the project. Since the third person template already includes the UE4 mannequin, we can delete the mannequin directory under dollars underscore UE4 mannequin. In the pop up dialog, choose to force delete. Then we open the animation blueprint of the UE4 mannequin. Since the mannequin directory it references has been deleted, it will prompt us to assign the skeleton. Let's choose the mannequin skeleton from the third person template. Next, let's open BP underscore mannequin, add a mesh, and return to the scene. Then we will add the character blueprint and dollars receiver. Run the project, and you can see that the motion capture is working properly. After that, let's add motion capture to the third person character blueprint. First, we will add a dollars receiver variable in the blueprint. Set the type to dollars receiver. Make it instance editable, then compile and save. Let's open the animation blueprint of the character, as well as the animation blueprint in dollars directory. We need to copy these variables and the graphs into the character's animation blueprint. First let's copy dollars mo cap actor. Then owner. Please note that the type of owner was originally bp underscore dollars mo cap actor, but we need to change it to the type of the character blueprint, which is third person character. Then let's copy the event graph. In the begin play, where it was originally cast to BP underscore dollars MO cap actor, it now needs to be cast to third person character. In the update event, since the type of owner has been changed, we need to drag a new one from the variables list. We will combine these pieces of code with the existing update node. Let's add a sequence node here. Finally, let's copy the animation graph. After compiling, we can see that the character is in T-Pose by default now. Choose the dollars receiver in the scene and run the project. We can see that the motion capture is functioning properly. In this way, we can use dollars mocap without changing the base class of the character blueprint. Sometimes the character blueprint is spawned in runtime and cannot pre-select the dollars receiver, so let's look at how to handle this. We start by setting the reference to null. Then in the character blueprint, let's add a begin play event. We will use the get all actors of class node, select the type as dollars receiver, then use the get node to select the first one and assign it to the dollars receiver variable.
This way we can obtain the dollar's receiver during runtime instead of pre-selecting it in the scene. Run the project, and you can see that the motion capture is still working correctly. Next, let's look at how to blend motion capture with animations. In the animation blueprint, let's add a variable named mocap, with the type of boolean. Then in the anim graph, we will use the blend poses by bool node. This means that if mocap is true, we will use the motion capture animation, otherwise, we will use the animation sequences. Then in the character blueprint, we add an event for the M key that toggles the mocap variable between true and false. After running the project, you can see that currently the animation is playing. When M is pressed, it switches to motion capture, and when M is pressed again, it returns to the animation. We can also limit the animation blend to the upper body. Let's copy the full body animation, then use a layered blend per bone node, taking the recently copied full body animation as the base pose and the results of the motion capture and animation as the blend pose. We can start blending from the spine bone, namely, spine underscore zero one. Let's copy the bone name here so that the bone starting from, spine underscore zero one, will use a mix of motion capture and animation. Run the project, we can see that the upper body toggles between motion capture and animation, while the lower body always playback the animation sequences.